see again. Oh, look how pretty that is. Fun stuff. I love this part. Oh, that is beautiful, Chef. Bon appetit. Everybody, I'm Vera Stewart and welcome to The Very Vera Show. I am so excited today to have as my special guest, a name you're going to recognize, Nancy Hopkins, the former food and entertaining editor of Better Homes and Gardens magazine. I'm sure there's one on your coffee table right now. And she's actually here to prepare two of her favorites from the newly released 17th edition of the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. We're going to be doing a Brussels sprout gratin that is fabulous. And then we're going to move into pumpkin pie, which is perfect for this time of year. And you know, I always put a twist on things, so I'm going to show you how to use both of those recipes for past hors d'oeuvres at a nice party. And speaking of that, in Vera's Corner today, I'm going to give you tips on things that you should need to know about proper etiquette for a black tie event. And then we're going to be off to a black tie party ourselves. So without further ado, let's meet Nancy. Well, it is certainly my honor and privilege at this point to introduce Nancy Hopkins, who needs no introduction, really. She is coming off of 21 years as the food and entertaining editor at Better Homes and Gardens. And just welcome. Thank you. So I am happy so to have you. Happy to and, be you here. You know, at what point in your life did you realize it was going to be about food? I, well, I love to eat, right? But I blame it on my mom. She is an amazing cook, and she was a county agent so that you know we were always cooking and oh, then I had the pleasure when I was in high school I actually met a food editor at Southern Living magazine and after that it was all over I just thought I'm gonna copy and be exactly like her oh my so gosh. that that started me on I have a degree in journalism and one in food and nutrition and oh, it's, for perfect. Sakes. it's perfect it's yes, perfect right absolutely well yeah. then what what brought you to better homes and gardens <laughs> well I wanted to be uh, in the Midwest and they have the best internship program and I became an intern you know, here this southern girl from Tennessee moves to Des Moines, Iowa. Oh my goodness. To be an intern for this magazine and uh, the rest is sort of history. It, really? You know. and, and it's such a wonderful history and to listen to you speak about the steps, it, it was just almost like you were being guided in, I, that, I do. in that direction. Well, what, what projects do you recall that are just specifically wonderful to you, you know, from the magazine? They're all important. I, you know, I learned so much from every last one of them, but there are some highlights, like working and getting to bring so many food personalities to the brand. Mm. So top among them, let me think. I love uh, Jacques Pepin. Um, Trisha Yearwood. Oh, wow. Kimberly Schlappman with Little Big Town. It, you know, we did all of her food. And then some really great culinary, you know, folks. Like, again, like Jacques Pepin. I just, oh, I love it. Every issue is different mm -hmm. and different oh, personalities. So beautiful. I love it. Well, love what, it. what, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite story or a favorite circumstance or I, I do. I think the one with Jacques Pepin was mm -hmm. really extraordinary. You know, he's in his 80s now and I got to spend a day at his oh, home. Just us, you know, creating that story and learning from him. I'll never forget that goosebumps, like goosebumps. Oh, I am sure. And this project, Nancy, it's, this book is beautiful. It's me. just, there is a picture for every, every recipe. And there are how many recipes? 1,200 recipes. It is the best selling cookbook of all times, the 17th ah. edition. And I think even I surprised you because what people don't know is that we change every edition. Oh, we my. start from scratch. Yeah, like, I, I didn't know this. We do. So, you know, what needs to be there for 2018, right. right? You know, what do folks want to eat now? You know, there are classics. We're going to make of one course. of those. But all the new things that you have to have, global flavors and easier recipes and recipes for entertaining. There's a whole entertaining So section. what she's saying to all of you is that you may have this book in your cabinet, you as may. we all do. Mine is in, in shreds. Right. But this is new. You, it need, is the, you need the new edition you with do. the updated the, the different interpretations of how the recipe looks. And it lies 
flat this time, no binder. Oh, I it's, mean, look at it. Yeah. It's the perfect book. It's a cookbook. Well, we are actually going to get started on cooking in this book. So when we come back from the break, we're going to get started on that Brussels sprouts gratin. Oh, I cannot wait. It's a mouthful. So come back <laughs> with us in just a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody, and if you're just joining us, I'm with Nancy Hopkins, who just finished a 21-year career at Better Homes and Gardens magazine, and in my wildest dreams, I never believed that I would be standing next to you I, in my kitchen. I love I'm it. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited. Well, you know, I love Brussels sprouts. This time of year, they're in season. A couple of weeks ago, I did this cold salad that was just marvelous, and when you said that your favorite <laughs> side in this new release of the cookbook was Brussels sprouts. I thought, gosh, you know, we just, we just did that a couple of weeks ago, but this is so different and it's, it's so wonderful. Oh, it's so different. Thank you for honoring oh, me. So I love excited. Brussels sprouts. There are like 40 side dishes in the cookbook and this is really my favorite. I think I have Brussels sprout love with you. So let's get going, right? Oh, absolutely. And you know, this is the rendered bacon oh, yeah. that you did earlier. And I thought, okay, Nancy, that is a lot of bacon drippings. You know, it's the holidays almost, and we've got to splurge. And so you this have that flavor. That's yeah. what makes this dish it, it's so, so delicious. It's so amazing. And so what I have going here, garlic and onion and those drippings, and I've just gotten them like good and That's sort of translucent. Beautiful. I'm gonna add some flour and make this little bit of a roux. And you know what that does? That gets it all wooga wooga and holds mm -hmm. it together once it's in the dish. And it it's just great. gives it that texture and consistency that we love in a gratin. And we're just gonna let it thicken a little bit here. Well, do and I need to get started on this? You know what? I think what I would love for you to do, this is half and half and mustard and everything needs a little bit of heat. So if you'll stir that together for okay. me. Okay. We're getting really close. And once you get that, this, talk uh -oh. about, talk uh -oh. about uh -oh. blow me away. Okay. This, cooking on the towel. I do. We're cooking on a towel. We're cooking on a towel. This is new to me. induction cooktop. And it's we were talking about how much you love their products anyway. I and do. you had not cooked on this induction. So I'm so happy to share that when you're doing this messy stuff with bacon, we're just going to throw that in the in the wash machine and we don't have to worry about it anymore. It's kind of amazing. So once you stir that together, I need your help with this heavy okay, I'm ready. cast iron skillet. I'm ready. Because what we want to do, if you can lift this thing, you're so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's add that. We've pre-cooked our Brussels. Look at that. And some chopped carrots. Oh, let's just see how long you can hold this. I'm okay. Look at you go. Okay, I got every last little every drip. Every little bit. Every drip. Okay. And then I'm going to stir that together. Just a just a quick stir. See then That is amazing. <laughs> that is it. amazing. Then we're adding our pre-cooked bacon. Oh goodness. To so the, I can for the I know the we have to eat that. I you know, gotta eat That's that. Okay. Here, I'm just gonna grab it, put it back I, in. I, I've got to speak to the dish too. Please. This is Martha Buck, the potter it's that gorgeous. I love. That your little vase in your room last night. It's is, I know, so it's, we're kinda having a Martha Buck moment too. Oh, I know, and she deserves those Brussels sprouts. Oh, so I'm adding that. some Parmesan, but guess what? You can use Asiago if okay. you don't have parm. And then every dish, salt and pepper. Right. And I love, I love salt. I just love salt. So stir this together. Here we go. Just get it all mixed at, in. Did we ever think Brussels sprouts would no. be this popular? and you know, I didn't eat those that much when I was growing up. I don't know, no. and I love them. I well, mean, it's my favorite vegetable. I, it's mine too, and I'm I'm the queen of sides, so that's a big statement that's a big for deal. me. So we're just adding it to Martha Box. Oh, and if you don't yes. happen to have one of her casserole dishes, <laughs> you know this is about like a, a seven by be... eleven. Um, I just yeah. love it in an oval. That yeah. that's what I love about this. They're going to be so happy in here, Vera. Look at this. We're doing her beautiful gratin dish proud. Okay, I know she's going to spread with that us. about. Let me spread I'm these gonna... around. Pour now this. then, you're, you're just going to pour that over. And I know it seems kind of like, is that going to mix in? Trust me, it does. Oh, wow. 
Oh, look at that. We're splurging. Okay, you mix up the breadcrumbs and the cheese okay. to on top of that. And, and this is just panko and more Parmesan cheese. I'm going to use my lovely, hands Lovely, lovely. All right, so we're going to take a Top quick break. And in Vera's Corner today, I'm going to give you some tips about going to a black tie function. Oh, I love and then that. we're going to get started on the pumpkin pie. Today I'm going to show you the proper etiquette for a black tie event. To start, reply to the RSVP by the deadline on the invitation. Your timely RSVP affects seating charts, food counts for the caterer, and many other event aspects. Most invitations will include a reply card, but you should still reply in writing to a formal invitation. Now let's talk attire. For ladies, a formal floor length gown is always a great option. If you don't own one, online rental options like Rent the Runway are great services to utilize. It's also acceptable to wear a cocktail dress, but go for dark neutrals or jewel tones to keep from looking too casual. For men, a black tuxedo is the best option, which includes a tuxedo jacket, matching trousers, bow tie, cummerbund or waistcoat, and black shoes. If it's summer or you're on a cruise, a white dinner jacket with a black tie attached is acceptable. If you're attending an event or party, plan to arrive within 15 minutes after the start time, but never walk in early. However, if you've been invited to a wedding, plan to arrive at least 30 minutes before the listed start time. Finally, a note of thanks is always appreciated following a formal event. Welcome back, everybody. And Nancy, I know from time to time we all need to be brushed up on etiquette mm -hmm. tips. So exactly. that was good. And then, speaking of good, the gratin just smells wonderful. Incredible. And it's just, and I know why it's your favorite. Oh, and we actually incredible. are putting a twist on that for presentation tonight. So excited. At the party. So We're excited. putting it on top of toast points. Yes. So it's going to be a past appetizer. It's going to be great. Everyone's going to love that. I, hope I know so. that. All right, that. pumpkin pie. Let's talk about it. You know what? Uh, pumpkin pie is one of the classics in the new cookbook that had to return. We love our pumpkin pie, but guess what? We changed it up a little bit. I'm going to get you started on the crust there. Okay. We added more ginger, really ginger, ginger flavor. And then, I don't know if you agree, Vera, but I think salt is a very important ingredient in dessert. We all, mm -hmm. you know, when the, when the cookbook was first developed, we didn't use as much salt. So now, we really enhance flavors with salt. There went the, the clove, cinnamon, brown sugar. So we're just gonna mix this up. You know, pumpkin pie is one of those back pocket recipes. I think we all need a pumpkin pie in our Gosh, lives. I mean, that smell just reminds me of Thanksgiving, Christmas. <gasps> well, I serve it all autumn, all autumn. So you, I just can't get enough, and I love to change it up too. So I'm just whipping this together. Then we go our eggs. They're already beaten for us, so in they go. Now I know we're doing a little bit of a twist on this I tonight, so that's too. What I mean. so I've got my little mini muffin pan out, and we're going to roll out this pie dough, and I'm going to use that little cutter to make just enough so that we can put them in here. And then, you know, people sometimes will just shy away from the desserts. I don't want anybody to see them standing at the, no, no. At the side would be me. eating all the desserts. That so would be me. So if you pass them, just like an appetizer at the end, then you can introduce that there are other desserts. But it's just a nice way to kind of introduce desserts being served. Well, and I think, like you say, people don't like to go stand by the dessert, but we love it. We know okay, now we tell love me about it. the little dots that are in the bottom of the pre baked well, shell. this literally just keeps your pie, helps it be flaky once it bakes. Okay, so and those I'm just whipping, whipping this, whipping this together, and then I'm going to pour it in there. You can't go wrong. Pumpkin no. pie is such a simple, and you know, whether you roast your own pumpkin, you can do that. That's well, right. I love Well, Nancy, pans. tell me about what's coming up with you um, now with your new career. I and can you're, you, you just got a new burst of energy here. So what are <laughs> you going to be doing? Well, you know, Vera, I have done all these amazing stories in my career with really cool people. 
and I'm going to open my own production company and do fabulous stories on fabulous people like you. Oh my God. Yes, and just, me. you know, I just, I, know me. the next Nancy, I think I'm gonna call it Eat With Nancy Productions. Oh, you I know? love it. Everyone needs to eat right now. Here's a little trick. Do you ever get like crusty, um, burned edges, we just make a little foil ring. We're just gonna place that collar, over. It's a collar, Nancy. It's, it's a, a collar. collar. Just like the fact that we've got to go get <laughs> dressed for this black tie party. So, I'm so excited. we're gonna wrap up. I'm gonna get these little tarts. And when you see us again, we're not gonna have flour on our nose no. or dust on ourselves. We're gonna be all dressed up. So come back with us to join the party. Welcome back, everybody. And you know, Nancy, we clean up pretty well. Oh, we do. <laughs> we do. I mean, Look we managed us. to get the flour and the sugar and the Brussels sprouts I off know. of us and get ready for this lovely party. So we've just had the best time today. And you know, there's just so much about entertaining that I think you almost have to create another platform. Um, just do. like we decided that you could make an appetizer out of a vegetable side dish mm -hmm. that the whole pie could be a tartlet a tart. that you could pass. So I think you know, we're brilliant. I, I think, think it's brilliant. one of those things through the years that you have to look at different adaptations of recipes to use in different forms. Mm -hmm. So very much like this home that we're in, Nancy, this it's historic incredible property has been renovated back to its original condition. So I am very anxious to show you what all of this looks like. So I come on, let's I, take a tour. I can't wait. Nancy, it looks like everybody's having a great time. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. Well, it's just, it's just gorgeous. fun to be in a in an environment like this. And you know, there's nothing like getting dressed up no, and going to a cocktail no. party. So it's let's gorgeous. talk a minute about how the food should really be situated at a party like this. Sure. So certainly I love to pass mm -hmm. food. And I think you should always try to make sure that it's recognizable. Mm -hmm. If it's not, to have some sort of little card on the tray so guests will know what it is and the server doesn't have to keep reiterating that. I agree. And then agree. this is basically finger food, but you know, people do like to pick up a plate. Mm -hmm. They like to make a little sandwich right. out of the beef tenderloin, which you know, that's always a hit. Always. The marinated shrimp over there, can you can use a toothpick with it, but we also kept the tail on the shrimp so easy they could to, just pick, pick it up. up. Very Nothing important. like a tea sandwich at a party like this. Nothing. And then I love to variate the height. You know, a chafing dish is always nice, mm -hmm. kind of accompanies something across that's low. If you're going to do something that requires more than one bite, right. you know, always make sure you have the plates next to that mm -hmm. as well. All of which you know, but I want our viewers to also understand that. And then in Vera's corner today, <laughs> we are talking about, or talked about today, you know, what RSVP means and what you do if you get an invitation to a black tie event. You know, you want to certainly have a lot of variety and whether someone has on a white dinner jacket, whether they've got on a long dress, whether the man, you know, has on a really- it's so Confusing. Unusual. Like the bow tie. Bow tie. The bow tie. It, it's just so splendid. confusing. So, you know, just try to make it light. And if you're the person hosting this party, mm -hmm. Look That's to make tricky. sure people are going to the food table. If not, start passing some of what's on your buffet. Right. right. I don't think you'll have that problem. I don't think so. I don't so think either. so. It's gorgeous. Nancy, I've just had the best time. Oh, amazing. You are the best. <laughs> So well, much it fun. has been such a privilege to have you. And I've you know, we've, we've had so much fun that we're about to forget to talk about the book. Oh. And I'm so excited. So share with everybody your pet project here. I would love to. So the book has 1,200 recipes. It is amazing. It was, the, the book, it's the 17th edition. Uh -huh. It started in 1930. And every recipe in this edition has its own photo. Can you imagine? Wow. 
But the best part for cooks, it lays flat and it's got yes. an incredible bookmark. And we all know how frustrating it is to cook from a book that keeps closing. Right. Not this one. And it's a team of, of editors and writers and photographers and we just can't be more proud. Do you know it's the number one best-selling cookbook of all time. Well, my all first time. edition of it is held together with rubber bands. <laughs> I'm so Oh flattered. my goodness. Well, you know, in all of these years, mm -hmm. do you have a special memory? I do, I do. And I bet you could guess, because okay. we share something about it. But of all the stories I've done, I love all of them, but one was at the White House and it was featuring the White House garden, and I got to work with all the White House, House chefs. Oh my goodness. And it was a very special day. How many people get to spend a day with the First Lady uh, at the White that. House? Yes. And it was extraordinary, and I, I, I won't forget it. I don't think I'll forget it. Well, you know, my favorite memory <laughs> of Better Homes and Gardens is December 2004 when you wrote about Very Vera and our red velvet cake. Uh -huh. So, you know, I didn't really have to twist your arm. No, because the cake is delicious. I have good taste. Oh, absolutely. I have good taste. And, and you know, that's actually how I always close the show, Nancy. No matter what you do, do it in good taste. Obviously, you all know I have a great taste <laughs> in guests on the show. I hope you will come back and join me again next week. Thank you, Nancy. Mm -hmm.